Well, good morning. I'm reading the book of Jeremiah this morning. And in chapter 27, God comes to Jeremiah and he tells him, I want you to build some ox yokes and bonds. And I want you to give them to messengers to send to these particular nations. And I want you to wear one. And this is going to symbolize the fact that you are going to serve the king of Babylon. Now, this is not what the Jewish people wanted to hear at all. And God says, I've made the earth in verse five of chapter 27. The man and the beast that are upon the ground by my great power and by my outstretched arm, and I have given it unto whom it seemed meet unto me. And now have I given all these lands into the hand of Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, my servant, and the beast of the field have I given him also to serve him. And all the nations that shall serve him and his son and his son's son until the very time of this land come, and then many nations and great kings shall serve themselves of him. And it shall come to pass that the nation and kingdom which will not serve the same Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, and they will not put their neck under the yoke of the king of Babylon. That nation will I punish, saith the Lord, with the sword, with the famine, with the pestilence, until I have consumed them by his hand. Therefore hearken not ye to your prophets, nor to your diviners, nor to your dreamers, nor to your enchanters, nor to your sorcerers, which speak unto you, saying, Ye shall not serve the king of Babylon. For they prophesy a lie unto you to remove you far from your land, and that I should drive you out, and ye should perish." But the nations that bring their neck under the yoke of the king of Babylon and serve him, those will I let remain still in their own land, saith the Lord, and they shall till it and dwell therein. Now this, once again, is not what the people of Israel, the people of Jerusalem wanted to hear. And so here's Jeremiah walking around, carrying this ox yoke, wearing it around his neck. And he's saying, hey, don't rebel against the king of Babylon. This is, this is God's chastisement on us. We are being chastised because we have disobeyed God. And so another fellow named Hananiah, he comes along and he says in two years, God's gonna break the yoke of the king of Babylon. And he comes to Jeremiah and he takes that yoke off of his neck and he smashes it on the ground. And he says, he says this is what's gonna happen for us. And so God comes to Jeremiah and he says, go tell Hananiah um, that he's a false prophet and that that's not what I've said. And he says, go tell Hananiah saying, thus saith the Lord, thou hast broken the yokes of wood, but thou shalt make for them yokes of iron. For thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, I have put a yoke of iron upon the neck of all these nations that they may serve Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, and they shall serve him. And I've given him the beast of the field also. Then said the prophet Jeremiah unto Hananiah the prophet, Hear now, Hananiah, the Lord hath not sent thee, but thou makest this people to trust in a lie. Therefore thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will cast thee from off the face of the earth. This year thou shalt die, because thou hast taught rebellion against the Lord. So Hananiah the prophet died the same year in the seventh month. Incredible. You know, God will not tolerate false prophets among his people. And, you know, we we need to realize this possibility. It's very important for us that we test what prophets say uh, according to the word of God. And Jeremiah comes along at a time that if you were to go back into the books of Moses, you'll see that God told the people if they were disobedient to him, that there would be a cycle of different chastisements that would come. And one of them would be that they would be exiled. And sure enough, it was time for that. That's what they were experiencing with the king of Babylon. When we come to the New Testament, 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 1 says, But there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you, who privily shall bring in damnable heresies, even denying the Lord that bought them, and bring upon themselves swift destruction. That's what Hananiah did. He brought upon himself swift destruction by his false prophecies. Listen, I just want to encourage you this morning. You don't have to be afraid of these kind of things, but you need to pay attention. You need to understand that some people are not listening to the Lord. They're being presumptuous. They're telling people what they want to hear rather than what God is telling us. And the best way to tell whether somebody is prophesying truth or a lie is what are they saying? Does it line up with the word? And also, is it happening the way that they're saying You know, there's lots of prophets in our day and they're telling us all kinds of different things. Well, is it happening like they're saying, especially the date setters? If not, stop listening to them and get your your nose in this book. Get it in the word of God. You can trust Jesus. You can trust his word. God bless you. I hope you have a great day.